Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with Plexus in After Effects. Let's get started. So welcome back and first of all, let's create solid layer. Right mouse, new and solid. Add the name Plexus. And click OK. Then go to FX Presses or FX Plexus. And select this plexus from Robite and let's use for this solid layer. Then select this plexus, let's put here. Okay. And let's close plexus settings. Let's create new object. Right mouse, new and null object. And hold control, double click on behind icon for move and core point center. Click session tool. Okay, and let's click this checkbox for 3D layer. Then back to Plexus and let's go to Add Geometry. Let's use Layers and let's change Object Type 3D Layers and Layer Type Null. Okay, then go to Plexus and let's add Render. Let's create points. Again, add Render. Lines, add Render. Let's select this and finally add render. Let's add beams. Also, go to add effector. Let's use for transform. Okay, so select this null. Let's move to here and control D for duplicate. Let's move to right. Again, control D, move to here. Again, control D, move to here. And don't forget to add expression for wiggle. Let's select this null, press P and hold alt click this time icon let's write here wiggle to 12 click this empty array for down expression let's see nice okay let's delete other null objects and select this again null let's control d move right and this is second null object already with expression Let's see. Nice. And again, control D. Move to down this. Again, control D. Move to here. For random animations. Okay, let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's again make like this. Okay, so let's select these null objects and click this icon. Then go to click this icon for hide all layers. Select this plexus and let's go to point render and change point size like this. Okay, and go to plexus lines and let's change maximum distance. Okay, let's see. Very nice. So, again, select this plexus. Let's go to here and let's change again distance. Okay, very good. Okay, not bad. So, let's go to FX preset, search effect glow, and let's use glow for this and change glow this okay and create new background right mouse new and solid layer add the name background click ok move to behind and let's control the this background change name grid and select background let's go to fx presses search fx gradient ramp and select this gradient ramp let's use for this background and go to start color let's change like this dark blue and don't forget to select this grid and hide layer for C background and select background layer again go to end color let's select light blue click OK and go to ramp shape change radial and let's move it down let's hide plexus ok and let's swap colors Okay, change like this. 
and this more dark and enable places let's see okay not bad then go to FX presses search FX grid and let's use grid for grid layer and enable grid solid let's go to two background layers solo and select grid let's change opacity like this and change color blue change opacity 12 and change size form with slider can control slider grid like this okay let's unsolo layers okay let's animation okay that's good very nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like the video and please follow me on instagram good luck